I have a secret to confess. I'm Mexican. And with those credentials, I often get asked where the best Mexican food is here in Las Vegas. And in this video, we're gonna highlight exactly that. So stay tuned. All right, starting off, we're right here on the strip at the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. We're right here at Border Grill. Now, this place isn't the most authentic uh, location in Las Vegas. Trust me, I'm already gonna hear it in the comments. Like, George, go to the east side, go to the taco truck. Well, I was raised on the east side and I used to own a taco truck. So trust me, this place is the real deal. Let's go check it out. All right, so I just got situated. It took me about an hour to find a seat here. Uh, so I definitely recommend making a reservation. This place is very popular. They have an upstairs and a downstairs area and also they have a patio that overlooks the pool here. I think the Lazy River is right in front. Uh, they have a couple of bars here. So definitely it's a cool place to come and drink. The food here is what they call like California Mexican inspired cuisine. At least that's what they have on their website. It's run and operated by two non-Mexican chefs, award-winning chefs that have influences from Oaxaca, uh, Mexico City, Baja, and I believe also Yucatan. But trust me, the food here is amazing, very good quality. So I got a mezcalero here. We got coconut, pineapple juice, we got some passion fruit, and fresh lime. You know me, you know I like a good cocktail. Cheers to that. Wow, that is so good. It's like a it's like a pina colada mezcal. So for starters, I also got the chips and salsa here. As you can see, there's an assortment of three different types of salsas. I'm assuming there's a mild, medium, and hot. All right, so I just got my food. I got two different plates, and first off is the short rib enchiladas. So it contains slow roasted short ribs, handmade tortillas, Oaxacan cheese, tortilla for sea salad and guajillo chile sauce. Look at this, $28 for these. I'm telling you, these are gonna be some of the best enchiladas that you're ever going to have. All right, I also got another plate. We got the smoked prime rib tacos. That's right, we got three tacos for the price of $30, so it's quite steep, but it is prime rib and it is smoked. So it has the prime rib, it has machego cheese grits, serrano chili, crispy garlic, and avocado bomb. Speaking of bomb, this looks absolutely bomb. All right, so let's get started with these short rib enchiladas. I had these probably like maybe about a year ago and I uh, have been fantasizing ever since then. Let's do it. Short ribs to me, it's probably one of my favorite meats. The little salad on top gives it nice balance, dude. Man, this thing is delicious. What's crazy with enchiladas is when people use good ingredients, you can really taste the difference. If I could change one thing about these is that I would actually make them a bit more spicy. Check this out. Dude, nice bright red color and perfect taste on the meat. I'm gonna call this a pina colada mezcal because it has similar ingredients. It is so creamy, so delicious, very smooth. You can barely taste the alcohol, yet you feel the smokiness of the mezcal. Amazing, I really recommend this drink. Now let's try some of the tacos right here, dude. Let's get it, of course, of course. We have to put the limoncito right here. Salud, brothers. This, these tacos are a culinary masterpiece. Prime rib on a taco, I mean, that should be kind of illegal. Handmade tortillas and this little avocado bomb that they have on top, this is, this is outrageous. This is so good. And it might even be better than the enchiladas, dude. The serrano peppers on top, you literally don't need any sauce added to this. This is a beautiful bite. Mm. Unreal. Now, these tacos are expensive. It's basically $10 a piece, but you are paying for that premium, premium quality. Look, I know sometimes YouTubers exaggerate a little bit on how good the food tastes, but you come here to Border Grill, you order these tacos, and you tell me they're not good, we're gonna have problems. Border Grill at the Mandalay Bay. Now, let's see what else is next. All right, and for the next place up, I'm standing right in front of La Mojarra Loca. They have a couple of locations, but this one is about a mile away from the Las Vegas Strip. It's gonna be a place that you find your Mexican families uh, coming here to celebrate something or just for the weekend. They serve more traditional plates than the last place. They have things like molcajetes, they have seafood, they have traditional plating, and they also have an excellent bar menu. So let's go in there and check it out. All right, guys, so I made it inside La Mojarra Loca, and this place is an absolute party. I'm sure you can hear the mariachi playing over there. This place is very busy. 
they don't accept reservations, so just keep that in mind. You're gonna have to be on the wait list. This place has a lot of different types of food, more traditional like burritos and tacos and chiladas, but they also specialize in seafood. They have a variety of seafood, like different types of ceviches, like oysters, all that stuff. Their bar menu is very extensive, so you can get like just a beer or a michelada, or you can get their specialty cocktails, the tequilas, margaritas, all that stuff. They have a wide selection of different mezcal drinks. Like this one is right here, it's called the Tropical Mezcal. It has uh, pineapple juice, lime juice, bits of pineapple inside, and it's garnished really beautifully. If you can see some tahini on the rim as well, let's give it a shot. Really nice tangy spiciness. I love it, man. I don't know what it is with us Mexicans that we like our alcoholic drinks spicy. All right, and I'm also here with my friend Ana Lee. Hey guys. Look at that, that's a mang mangoneada margarita. They brought some other drinks as well. Salud. I love the chamoy and the tahini on these two, honestly. So full disclosure, I'm not paying for this, but this is one of my favorite places. And my friend happened to be the person that runs their social media accounts and stuff like that. So we are trying a lot of food today. Another drink that I got here, this one is called the cazuela which is basically like a cooking pot. Fresh fruits, tequila, lime juice, all that stuff. It's basically like a fruit margarita of some sorts. It is only $16.99, basically the price of a cocktail anywhere else on the strip. And this thing can probably two, three people can drink out of this. It's a whole tub, you can take a shower here. It has a little bit of bubbles in here, kind of like bubbly like champagne. All right, so I got my first plate of food here and I got a ceviche plate. I'm telling you, La Mujer Loca is known for their seafood. This one's called the Pinky. I, uh, this is basically a shrimp ceviche. So they're gonna have different variations of it. And as you can see, it's basically like a seafood salad, something like that. Let's go. Oh man, this looks so good. All right, let's add some tapatio. Yes, sir. Some cucumbers here, onions, cilantro, tomato. I don't know. I'm, I'm a really big fan of ceviches and this one is pretty good. I actually didn't eat this that much because this thing is pretty spicy. But we can also eat it just like this. Mmm. That's cool. Alright my people, and then now I am here with this molcajete. This is called the Vol Volcan Molcajete Volcano. Check this out. This is an absolute unit of a food item, I guess. Like three, four people could eat off of this. So we got crab, shrimp, octopus, prawns, shells, and then some saute style salsa here. As you can see, it's still sizzling. Let's get going with one of the crab legs. Dip it right here in the salsa. Let's go. Oh, spicy. It looks like a deep fried shrimp. This little salsa that's here, like the homemade salsa, super spicy. Woo, steaming. Gotta get her done. All right, moving on. I think I got, what is this, a clam? No, a mussel. Let's go, ooh, like the whole thing is still steaming hot. So that's good. Gracias. Ooh, steam. There's a lot of protein right here. Oh, the whole thing squared it on me. Ooh, that was that was really close and being a disaster. <laughs> but it was worth it. I'd probably do it again. I haven't even made a dent. Oh, I got another clam here. Is that a prawn? What is this? Oh. Let's go dip in the spice. Let's go, baby. All right, so that is it for La Mojarra Loca. Excellent menu, really cool vibes. The mariachi, the music. It's a really cool place to come and check out and it's not too far from the Las Vegas Strip. Now, let's see what else is next. All right, so now we made it here to Lindo Michoacan. This is regarded as being one of the best Mexican restaurants in Las Vegas and it is certainly a Las Vegas staple. Let's step inside so you can see why it is regarded as such. They have two ladies making tortillas. Tortillera Doña Dominga. Alright, so I just got situated here at Lindo. I came to sit at the bar section because it would have been about 20 minutes to sit down. What sets this place apart, in my opinion, one is one of the oldest runnings, two, they have a bunch of locations, and three, it's very friendly for people that aren't Mexicans. Their menu is a lot more simple than over at the Mojara Loca or even over at Border Grill. Uh, you have things like sopes, you have tacos, you have some fish here, not a whole lot of seafood, but then you also have combination plates. Combination plates that vary between beef, you have pork, chicken, rice, beans, 
that sort of stuff. When I say this place is a staple, I'm telling you, I would be surprised if anyone knows about Las Vegas Mexican food and doesn't know about Lindo Michoacan. Off the bat, when you get here, uh, they bring you a sopa de fideo and some chips and salsa. I actually told them no to the chips and salsa, uh, but they brought this. Your boy's trying to watch this figure. You know, summer's coming. I'm trying to look shredded. This reminds me of my childhood. It's crazy. Fidel is basically pasta, like angel hair or something like that. All right, so I got my food right here. It didn't take that long to get here. Probably maybe like five minutes. So that was like fairly quick. All right, so what we have here is two enchiladas, two corn tortillas with chicken. All enchiladas are the same. The only thing that changes is the sauce. This is Suiza style. So it's gonna have this green sauce here, very creamy. <clears throat> then you also on the side, you have some beans, rice, of course, a little bit of sour cream and a giant piece of avocado on top. Now let's get started. You know, this is heritage right here. Boom. Let's go. This is why I always get these enchiladas. <laughs> this, they're so good. Another cool thing about this place is that when you come here to celebrate a birthday, it's always like, you know, they make a big fuss about it. They bring a hat, some people start singing, and then they like, happy, happy birthday. You know, they have their own song. Sometimes if you're an adult, they bring you a shot of tequila. So if it's your birthday, come here. Nice gesture from restaurants. I love it when they do that. say is that I wish this included three enchiladas instead of two. I don't think if I wasn't already full, I don't think this will fill me up. Right, all done here. And I, if I wasn't full before, I am about to explode now. One thing is that I think their menu is a bit limited. They have the most traditional things. They do those things right, in my opinion. It's just, you know, they don't have a whole lot of variety. Someone just came by and told me that the mariachi actually gets here from 7 to 9 p.m. It's about 6 p.m. right now, so unfortunately I missed them. But I have a feeling it's gonna be the same guys from over there at the Mojarra Loca. So there you have Elindo Michoacan, one of the staples here in Las Vegas. I'm at the Desert Inn location, which is the one that's closest to the Las Vegas Strip. So with that being said, now let's see what else is next. Let's do it. All right, so I just made it here to El Dorado Cantina and I really love this place. Uh, number one is that the food. A lot of Mexican restaurants get the cheapest ingredients to maximize profit, but not here. They really don't cut corners, but with that, you know, obviously prices are gonna be a little bit higher. Another reason why I love this place is because they often have live performances. Like right now, there is a salsa group here in the corner and it just sets the whole environment. I absolutely love live music. But last but not least, another reason why I love this place is because they have a happy hour from three to six, Monday through Friday, so it's 50% off a couple of items, uh, food, drinks, all that stuff. I did get chips and salsa here. They used to be free, but now they charge $3.50. But boom, there we go. Two different types of chips, two different types of corn. I believe the ones right here are a little bit mild, and then this one right here is a mango habanero. Mm. They warned me, they were like, hey, this is really spicy. I, oh, fuck. Yep, I see. One of the thing you must get is the table sidewalk. They come by and they prepare it right in front of you. It's as fresh as it gets. All right, so let's try this table sidewalk spicy that McKenna made. Oh, on this super heavy mocha gente. Look at that, beautiful. I love a good walk. I honestly, I, I can just eat this whole thing. Put like a Netflix show on, grab this, that's it. I'm done, I'm finishing the whole thing. Last week, they actually just rolled out a new Patron flight. So look at this presentation. Any four of our margarita flavors. Uh, today we have our classic margarita, a cucumber jalapeno, a mango margarita, and a strawberry margarita. When you don't know which margarita to get, check this out. Beautiful, beautiful presentation. Yeah, I, I thought I wasn't gonna drink, but here we go. Dude, these are so good. Dang. We have some shrimp and steak fajitas, side of cilantro rice and refried beans. And then my personal favorite, our enchilada trio. All right, so I got two plates. I'm gonna hurry up before they get cold. I got the fajita plate, and this fajita plate also comes with this, rice and beans, and we got some pico, sour cream, and avocado on the side. 
and it also comes with the tortillas. I'm on that game train right now, so definitely uh, this uh, steak and shrimp is gonna be the way to go. Making a surf and turf taco. I'm gonna get some avocado in here. This is a beautiful bite right here. Mm-hmm. The fajitas alone are really good. Absolute fire, perfectly seasoned, really good combination of flavors. And the fact that they bring you, you know, the avocado, sour cream, and pico on the side, beautiful. Now let's move on to the enchiladas because I'm gonna get full if I keep eating the fajitas. All right, so we got basically a flight of enchiladas. The one on the far right, the green sauce, is gonna be uh, chicken. The one in the middle is gonna be chipotle sauce. It's gonna be with shrimp. And then the one on the uh, at the other end is gonna be red salsa, red uh, salsa roja, and that's gonna be with beef. Let's try this, chipotle and shrimp. Yes, sir. Oh, that was spicy. I like it. I like my enchiladas like I like my women. A little spicy. These enchiladas actually have cheese inside. Salsa roja enchilada right here with the beef. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So you can't see it, but there's like big chunks of steak here. These are this is the like actual like steak right here. This is like dangerously good. Absolute heater. I love it. Let's give this uh, green salsa one a try. Uh, honestly, they're all delicious, but there's something about the shredded chicken and the cheese and also the green salsa beautiful so there you guys have it, Eldorado Cantina. They have three locations here in Las Vegas. And honestly, it could be my favorite one in this video. I don't know, it's a toss up depending on the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, please remember to give this video a like. It really does help out tremendously with the algorithm. And if you don't mind, also dropping a comment. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love you guys. If anyone knows where this place is, I will shout you out on my next video.